So here we are, standing with the Falcon, the Sparrowson, and the Dark Fontaine on the right. We're at the, I think, near the end of the game, the third trial, or some improvisional trial, somewhere in the catacombs of the Notre Dame, with Lady Beaumore, the uh, cat lady. And on trial is Severin Cocorico, the prosecutor, and we're here to protect him. <clears throat> but as you can see here, while the classical music is uh, playing, I messed up. At least the first inquiry, <clears throat> line of inquiry, I messed up. I asked the um, the the witness. I think it was Piero. Um, <clears throat> about that he saw the victim shot being shot at night by Severin, and I didn't have evidence. So I messed up one part, so I'm not sure how the um, Lady Beaumont is reacting to this, so let's see what happens. Madame Beaumont scowls. Are you trying to toy with me? I don't appreciate it. Explain yourself, Falcon. Why do you think the street lamps over Rue de Marmousset were broken? Well, I don't have the evidence. <coughs> I guess I have... Uh, can do it three times, but I really don't. Maybe because of this, I presented this one, the signed cult guide. I'm not sure why, but I would assume I missed some evidence. So here I am stuck again. Okay, if we have two more tries, that would mean this cult guide. <coughs> pamphlet on the cult of reason found by Sparrowson in the catacombs. <coughs> that doesn't imply anything over why the um, the lamps are broken. <coughs> um, let's just go with this book. Take a look at this. You're saying this is how you know the street lamps were broken? I don't quite follow. Well, I don't quite follow myself, really, Beaumont. Well, you see, uh, oh crap, you picked the wrong, yeah. Okay, we got one more chance. I don't have the evidence. Um, let's go with the letter. <laughs> this is frustrating. I'm saying nothing. Alright, this this is it. He's floundering, madam. Agreed, I've heard enough of these rambling theories. Falcon, your respect for your comrade is admirable, and you display great valiance by leaping headfirst into the lion's den. But you have failed to convince me of this bird's innocence. Madame Beaumont, I implore you. Not another word. We humored you, we set up a court and went through the motions of a trial, and now the rooster's guilt has been formally proven. I guess I messed up again. <laughs> Maybe I should have picked another line of inquiry. Um, but yeah, I guess choices have consequences in this game. No trial and error. <coughs> we have more evidence, do we? Enough, the trial is over. Severin Cocorico, you have been formally tried by the people of the Second Republic. The Old Republic. We have found you guilty on the counts of conspiracy of the murder of the croque monsieur and of the murder of my father, Jean Beaumont. Madame, please. JJ, it's alright. I've made my peace. This is far from alright. Dying in the name of a new republic at the hands of rebels. There are worse ways to go. It was good enough for Robespierre, right? Who is that? Severin. Oh my god. Did, jet, did that just happen? In every trial, I think I'm to blame, or at least the game make you feel you're to blame for messing up. And this time, I'm not sure 
Um, probably I wasn't well prepared enough <laughs> to save the poor Severin. Uh, but yeah, this is an interesting uh, turn of events, I guess. Falcon must feel bad, though. Silence is the um, appropriate behavior, I guess, for this. Tend to the body, Piero. Yes, ma'am. Do you plan to kill us too? Why would I do that? You two have done nothing wrong. I see no reason for you to be tried, let alone executed. Your mercy is admirable, madame. But I fear if we let these two go, they will tell the police everything. They would compromise us. No, no, we promise to keep our beak shut, right, Falcon? Ah, but we cannot trust the word of potential traitors, madame. For the good of friends, we must execute the birds right now. Some man of God you are. I hate to admit it, but you have a point, Remus. This is an unpleasant situation. Hmm. What to do, what to do? I can feel the tension of this game rising with every minute. Especially when this happens. What will happen to Falcon and Sparrowson? Okay, I know, I'm going to give you a choice. You have two options. First is that I shoot you right here and now. That's not something either of us particularly want, but if it must be done... What's option number two? You join us. Hmm... Join the Rebel Alliance? To save my life? Yeah, why not? I mean, the police isn't very friendly to us. So, what will Falcon do though? We need lawyers to help bring the new republic into fruition. Your skills will be very much appreciated. Our skills? Somebody has to draft new laws, somebody has to file the paperwork to secure the new republic's internationally recognized legal status. Somebody has to prosecute the officials who corrupted this country. Wouldn't that be a glorious job? You mean, prosecute the prime minister or the king? We can discuss the specifics later. For now, I need to hear a decision. What will it be? Ooh. <clears throat> now the choice really comes up. So we'll join you, uh, not because of idealistic reasons, but to save our hide, I guess. But then we have to go on a witch hunt to prosecute the king and all other people governing the, the country right now, I guess. I would rather die for king and country. What would you do? What would any man do? I guess Falcon isn't much of an idealistic person. We don't still don't know much about his background, who his father was. Um, oh, what the hell? We'll join you. <laughs> I mean, can't get any worse, right? You, you can die, but it's not an option to survive, I guess, at this point. We could lie again. We'll join you. Let's just see what happens. Fine, we'll work with you. Good, then a verbal contract has been made. So, what happens now? Piero and Fontaine will lead you to La Canard Joyeux. I will finish up here and meet you in two hours. Needless to say, they shall be keeping a close watch on you. Don't even think about running. Of course. Then we're done here. Fontaine, lead the way. Yes, madame. Come along, you two. You can't seriously be trusting these filthy lawyers, madame. They're probably plotting revenge for their dead friend at this very moment. I do trust them. Throughout that trial, I got the impression that Falcon was trying to de-escalate the situation. Avoid violence. Such a viewpoint is naive, but it's exactly what we need in this revolution. But they will betray you. If they are stupid enough to even raise one feather against me, they will regret it. This chapter is unfinished. Wait for an update in two days time to play this ending or return to the load screen and try to reach a different path. Thanks for your patience. <laughs> What kind of ending is that? Um, 
All right. So I guess we had the, the bad ending and the developer still has to make the right ending. I'm playing a Steam version, so if there would have been an update, I would have got it already. Um, so I guess this is the end for now, until the uh, developer makes the update, I guess. Uh, or I could play again and try to, you know, set things straight, collect the evidence, but how would I go about that? Loading a previous day? I think I'm sticking with my options, although it was a very bad ending. Um, yeah, so the game is a little bit unfinished. That's too bad, actually. In the form of DLC, maybe. I sure hope it's a, a free DLC. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of an abrupt ending to uh, what was a very interesting game. At the start, I thought I'd, mm, I'm not, I was not sure about it. Uh, pretty straightforward, uh, very um, similar to games like Phoenix Wright. Uh, although the, the, the outcome of the first trial was was strange, was weird. Um, so that might have given a hint of the uh, the nature of the story of the game. The second trial was, was crazy as well. And things got very interesting with the, the third act. Uh, with all the side quests and collecting evidence. And then I messed up again. So I, I really liked that you had the choice to play the, <coughs> the story uh, the way you wanted. Or at least... You have to suffer the uh, consequences for uh, not collecting evidence or presenting the wrong evidence. And I guess um, I suffered for it. <laughs> At least I joined a rebellion now, so that could be interesting. A very interesting premise for future installments or uh, the update. So I guess I'm waiting for that. Um, <clears throat> and a little bit about the rest of the game. I like the artwork. It's very, very well crafted, very well... Um, uh, yeah, the graphics are just the drawings are great. I don't have I don't think I've seen it in another game, so it makes it look like a very unique game. Um, the humor is very good. Sparison really gives the uh, the game a humorous touch. <coughs> um, and for the rest, it's just by gameplay, it's just clicking through the uh, the storylines. But I don't I don't matter. Um, I don't care. With the choices you had, you could shape the story least somewhat in your own way and that's the emphasis of the game so in that respect it was a good game and i'm looking forward to bring you the update if it ever comes and for now thank you for your support on this series and i'd like to see you back on my channel and have a good day